Hello everyone, welcome to the first edition of Fan Bill Fridays, formerly known as Viewer Request Series, which really was only one build spanned over two videos. I just like the name Fan Bill Friday much better. The name courtesy of Fall Damage Sucks, thank you for the idea and letting me steal it. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm posting this video on a Saturday, I just got a little behind schedule and still wanted to use the name. Regardless, I'm building an apartment. You see me laying down the foundation first. Now, I've had a few people suggest something relating to an apartment, but this is closest to Caden Palomar's suggestion. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Which was, can you do like a small apartment building that we can scale as we want? I'm assuming they meant apartment building, but we all know what happens when you do that. But yes, great suggestion. I hope you like it. So this is going to be rather small. Two floors and I'm doing four apartments on both. I like the idea of building something scalable and that's exactly what this is. You can build this as big as you want in a few different ways and I'll go over that towards the end. So for the walls, I'm primarily using wood walls and doorways that you get from the snap and build mod, but I will throw in some barn walls as well. I'm only using two mods for this build, snap and build and workshop rearranged. I will add in the Bethesda.net and Nexus links to these mods in the description. So if you want to build this without mods, I would suggest using concrete walls with wood floors and roofs. I always like that combination, and stuff I build with it usually turns out pretty cool. I love these doorways and half walls so much, and don't understand why Bethesda hasn't given these to us. I've bitched about this in at least three videos, four including this one. So if you guys don't use any mods, use the snap and build. It's really cool and you can make some great stuff with it. Alright, enough of me preaching. I'm just designing the rooms here. In a second, I'm going to switch out some of the floors with half floor pieces. That way, I have more options for snapping in walls and doorways. But towards the end of the video, I do change them back to the original size. Now, if you don't use mods, you can use barn or warehouse floor pieces. Those let you snap walls in between the floors just like I'm doing here. So that's the bathroom. And I want to talk about designing the inside real quick. I will do a full video on this, but for now, one of the biggest things I see people do is they don't give themselves corners to work with. A lot of buildings and houses I see are just wide open spaces on the inside, which totally has its place, but this build for example, I'm building apartments and want them to look realistic, so I approach the idea with I have to give them the basic rooms. Bedroom, which I'm building there, that's, that's the bedroom, uh, living room, kitchen, maybe a dining room and most importantly, a bathroom. 90% of the time, I forget to add in a bathroom. I just, you know, I just don't think about it. But hopefully that advice will help. Just put up some walls. It doesn't even have to be full rooms. Just add in some kind of dividers. All right, so you see that I added in some barn walls off to the side. I do that a bit more just to mix up the texture so it's not the same bland wood all on the outside. It might look out of place now, but I promise it comes together quite nicely. I do the same thing for the doorway panels. I like to change them up a good bit. It helps make them look more realistic and lived in. You know, like some work has been done, they survived a few raider attacks. It just gives it more character. All right, so I'm just gonna finish putting up the roof, fix the second room, and give you guys a break from my yammering. Be back in a sec. And we're back. All right, I love balconies and think every apartment should have one, so that's what I'm building. Pretty simple, I just put a post on the corner and add in some railings. There are some vanilla posts that you can use in the barn and warehouse tabs, but I'm using the ones that we get from the workshop rearranged mod. Also note, I use the shack foundation for the balconies and normal wood concrete for the rest. I think that change in texture really goes a long way. So for the rest of the video, I'm not going to be talking as much because I pretty much do the same thing for the rest of the rooms. Normally, I would change up the layout, but for the back rooms like this, I just flip it. And the other rooms are going to be the exact same layout. 
I did this because in my next video, the decorating of this build, I wanted to show you that even though it's the exact same layout, you can make them look very different from each other. There are just tons of different ways to decorate and make it your own. So having said that, I'm just going to shut up and let you guys watch as I build the second room and the balcony. Alright, here is where I add in some barn walls. I need to build a staircase and I thought I had to use the smaller wall to snap a half floor to it, but I didn't need that. You'll see here in a second, just snap over the upper floor, then you add a ladder from the barn tab and you see that the floor snaps to the bottom, and then just place in the other ladder. I also thought that I was going to need those smaller posts to go under the floor, but I didn't. Just add in the back wall and you have a staircase. Alright, I cut out me building the upper floor because it was the exact same thing as the bottom, which you already saw me build. So now I'm adding the upper balcony and the roof. I want to use the arched wall at the top, so all I have to do is snap a barn wall to the floor that I'm using as the balcony roof, and then snap the arched wall to that, like so. Oh, you'll see in a second that there's a gap in the walls right here. I fixed that with the cross beams that we get from the workshop rearrange mod, which are a godsend, because if you're building this without mods and you run into the same situation, it's very difficult to fix. We don't really have any vanilla items to fix that, which can be a huge pain in the ass. I mean, you can add in another floor right there, but then your inside ceiling is going to be very low. So a good way around that, if you use barn or warehouse pieces, only use those two together. I wouldn't mix the others because they are shorter and you're only more than likely going to run into this problem. Just watch how satisfying this is. Right? Just crisis averted. It fits in. No problem. And it looks awesome. Just, ah. I love you! Alright, now I'm just going to add in the roofs and be back in a sec. Alright, so I'm not going to show me building the other side of this because, as I've said, it's going to be the exact same, but I think it comes out really cool and I hope you guys like it. Quick things to note, as I was finishing this, I fixed up the entrance a good bit and also added in storage rooms outside on the balconies. Every apartment I've lived in had one of those and I thought it would be a nice touch, but unfortunately I didn't record either of those. So the storage room was built just like I did the bathrooms and the entrance, if you take a second to look at it during the tour, you'll see what I did. I just added in a half barn wall with windows and then placed posts around it. But that's about it for the build. Thank you all for your suggestions and definitely keep them coming. I have a list that I add them to and there's really no rhyme or reason to the ones that I choose to build first. It just depends on how much time I have and what settlement I want to work on, so definitely keep them coming. 
and I wanted to do a Mod Monday video this coming Monday, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to. I'll definitely post one on the following Monday, so be on the lookout. And lastly, I've had a few people ask me to do Q&A videos, which I would love to do, and some questions that I get would be much easier to answer if I could demonstrate. So if you guys have any questions for me, please leave them in the comments or on Twitter, and if I get enough, I'll start making those types of videos as well. But as always, I really appreciate you stopping by and watching this far into the video. Watch time really helps my videos out. So let me know what you think, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and take care.